Good morning. It's 6.37 a.m. on Friday, April 15th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I am, yeah, feeling kind of spacey this morning. Uh, <laughs> my foot hurts. Yeah, specifically the ball in my left foot just has kind of some weird pinched nerve thing going on. And here's my theory. It seems mysterious, and yet it has happened frequently enough that uh, um, I, I have an operating theory as to what's going on here. Because this is not the only pain that I've had in the last couple of days, but the other pains have been in weird, unusual places, but still feeling like neuromuscular pain. So I had this weird little twinge in my side, and then the other, you know, the other day I had something like right here. Um, but see, here's what, what it is. So like I got my, my current chair, but I did, before finally getting this one, spend a few days with the old one, which sits crooked. And the last time I had tried using it instead of the straight kitchen, uh, kitchen chair that I used in between those two times, the same thing happened. And so my working theory is that something about sitting crooked in the chair makes me use my muscles just differently enough that it puts a lot of strain in an unusual place that my body's not used to. And so that'll produce sort of a localized pain. But then, because it hurts, I will be adjusting my, you know, my walking stride or my sitting posture or doing other things differently in order to try to soothe the pain of that unusual spot. And then that in turn places um, an unusual strain on some other part of my body. And it kind of just all translates through my whole body in strange ways. And so the same thing happened the last time I had tried using sitting crooked in that chair for any extended period, which is that uh, I go through this process of a couple of weeks where I'll have some weird, just random little pain that just kind of migrates every day or so to a different spot in my body. That's my operating theory anyway. I have no alternate hypothesis. Um, if my theory holds true in this instance, I expect maybe to have one or two, you know, the current pain in the ball of my foot um, I expect to have it migrate to some other spot sometime in the next day and, uh, maybe, maybe another two or three more spots and then it'll just stop happening. We'll see. Because it's also true that, uh, it's possible that I am conflating a pattern where there is none. But, I don't know. Anyway... I'm kind of spacey this morning. You want to see my socks? I've been wearing like sort of fancier stripy socks. These are wool socks recently. My mom last year gave me a gift of some wool socks and I've been gradually replacing all of my cotton socks with wool socks since then. Just because, I don't know, I like them. Certainly when it's cold out, the wool socks are much warmer, uh, and I feel like they last longer. I have a tendency with the cotton socks to, like, the, the nail of my big toe ends up making a little hole in the toe of those socks. And at least in my experience wearing them so far, these wool socks are lasting longer, plus stripy and stylish. At least the ones that I've got so far, there's obviously a lot more designs that are theoretically available. Um, but I don't know, I, I like 
socks. Uh, the the human foot, although obviously the shape and you know design of it is you know completely normal and natural. I you know have two of my own, obviously. And everybody, you know, almost everybody has has feet that are largely the same. Uh, but for whatever reason, I just look at a human foot and I think that looks weird. What's up with that? That's a weird thing. But a sock. You put a nice clean sock on that foot. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.